You can also import and export the contents of a playlist to file. I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. So you have two ways to do that. You can either right click directly on the playlist name and say export playlist file or you can right click in the area which lists the items and say export playlist file and it gives you the options of, of file formats you can choose. The first option is MIL and this is the internal format used by SAM Broadcaster Cloud. So whenever possible use that as it's highly optimized and quicker to read and write for the cloud system. The second option is M3U which is a standard playlist format used by a lot of tools um, and then you have the UTF-8 friendly version as well and finally you have a CSV spreadsheet comma delimited file um, that you can export to as well. So let's go ahead and maybe generate the M3U playlist and you'll see the file downloaded and th that's now usable in the tool. Now let's do the reverse and import the playlist file into a playlist. To do that let me first clear this playlist. Now I can right click say import playlist file and let's just take a note, moment to read this notice. Importing playlist via browser will only add items found in the library. No missing files will be imported. Use library import utility if you wish to phys physically import tracks. Browsers have a restriction, a security restriction where it can't go out and read files on your disk um, without you specifically selecting those files. So unfortunately when you import the playlist and any of those tracks does not exist, the system can't go ahead and upload those tracks. So it will basically just skip over those tracks. The other setting you'll notice here is the match on file name only. That's the default. Generally speaking, the cloud system ignores the path when it's trying to see if two files are the same file. So if there's two files called a.mp3 and they're located in different folders on your computer, then by default it will be seen as the same file because the file name matches. So let's go ahead and import the, the playlist file we generated a little while ago. I go to select playlist here. This allows me to browse for the playlist file. I select the one, click open, and you can see upload processing completed, media items added four, media items not found is zero. If I close this, you can see the four items in here in the correct order in the playlist. So the playlist is fully restored. Importing playlists is useful, especially if you use external tools to generate the playlist like uh, music scheduling software. Of course, importing playlists from music scheduling software can be really powerful, but the best tool to use for that is the library import utility. This you can get from the upload window and import utility which allows you to download the version for Windows, Apple or Linux. And we have a dedicated video about that so I recommend you go check that out.